Welcome my Nifflers to a new Dark Potter video. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you who came to see this video and all of you commented. That was very, very interesting to read your comments and your advice and encouragements. So, thank you so much. This video is going to be quite different from the other one I posted earlier. In this video, I shall be reading a story my mother used to tell me when I was a young witch. Most of you must know this very famous book, which I have here, The Tales of Beedle the Bard. When I was young, my mom used to read me the stories to me every single night. I know them by heart, or at least I knew them by heart. Word for words, I could recall them. Now my memory is gone a bit, and I shall read from the book. I wanted to share Vic's experience with you for a bit of reading. Now, Beedle the Bar's tales are considered to be, by most people in our community, a children's book, like fairy tales, for example. But a few wizards and witches believe that there is more to this than just a children's storybook. Even a few magnificent and memorable wizards like Arbus Dumbledore, the Dark Lord, or even Harry Potter believed in the Deathly Hallows, for example. But this video is not about discussing the depths of such tales. It is about sharing a very good experience and some light reading. Today, I shall be reading to you the tale of the Three Brothers. Most of you wizards and witches know about this tale. It will only be enjoyable to recount these memories you had from your childhood when your own parents would read them to you. So if you please, sit down, rest, listen, and let me transport you for this wonderful experience. The Tale of the Three Brothers There were once three brothers who were travelling along a lonely winding road at twilight. In time, the brothers reached a river too deep to wade through and too dangerous to swim across. However, these brothers were learned in the magical arts, and so they simply waved their wands and made a bridge appear across the treacherous water. They were halfway across it when they found their path blocked by a hooded figure, and death spoke to them. He was angry that he had been cheated out of the three victims. The travellers usually drowned in the river, but death was cunning. He pretended to congratulate the brothers upon their magic and said that each had earned a prize for having been clever enough to evade him. So the oldest brother, who was a combative man, asked for a wand that must always win jewels, for its owner, a wand worthy of a wizard, what conquered death. So death crossed to an elder tree on the banks of the river, fashioned a wand from a branch, and hung that hung there, and gave it to the oldest brother. Then the second brother, who was an arrogant man, decided that he wanted to humiliate death still further, and asked for the power to recall from others from death. So death picked up a stone from the river bank and gave it to the second brother and told him that the stone would have the power to bring back the dead. And then death asked the third and youngest brother what he would like. The youngest brother, 
was the humblest and also the wisest of the brothers. So he asked for something that would enable him to go forth from that place without being followed by death. And death, most unwillingly, handed over his own cloak of invisibility. Then death stood aside and allowed the three brothers to continue on their way, and they did so, talking with wonder of the adventure they had had, and admiring death's gifts. In due course, the brothers separated, each for their own destination. The first brother travelled on for a week or so, and reaching a distant village, he sought out a fellow wizard with whom he had quarrelled. Naturally, the elder one has his weapon, he could not fail to win the duel that followed, leaving his enemy dead upon the floor. The oldest brother proceeded to an inn, where he boasted loudly, of the powerful wand he had snatched from death himself, and of how it made him invincible. That very night, another wizard crept upon the oldest brother as he lay, wine sodden upon his bed. The thief took the wand and, for good measure, slit the oldest brother's throat. And so death took the first brother for his own. Meanwhile, the second brother journeyed to his own home, where he lived alone. Here he took out the stone that he had the power to recall the dead, and turned it thrice in his hand, to his amazement and delight. The figure of the girl he had once hoped to marry before her untimely death appeared at once before him. Yet she was silent and cold, separated from him as though by a veil. Though she had returned to the mortal world, she did not truly belong there and suffered. Finally, the second brother, driven mad with hopeless longing, killed himself so as truly to join her. And so death took the second brother for his own. But though death searched for the third brother for many years, he was never able to find him. It was only when he had attained a great age that the youngest brother finally took off the cloak of invisibility and gave it to his son. And then he greeted death as an old friend and went with him gladly. And equals, they departed this life. Thus hands the tale of the three brothers. Thank you my little witches and wizards, my nifflers as I like to call you, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this little video as much as I enjoyed making it. Maybe next time we'll read another of these tales and try to find out what secret truths it holds. Well, thank you so much for watching this new video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please give a thumb up if you liked it, because it's really important to me to know whether or not these sort of things are actually what you like watching or listening to. And please don't forget to comment and tell me what you thought about the video, if you have any critics, any advice, all of these comments are welcome, as well as encouragements, of course. Um, I think that the next video, if you like that one, could be another one of those fairy tales reading, or beetle bards reading, or maybe a history of magic reading. If you have any idea, please just comment and tell me. Um, I think that also, among the future videos, there are going to be more unboxings, because as I've been a good girl this year, I've asked quite a lot of presents. Well, um, Harry Potter presents, of course. And I shall also be receiving, um, I think, two boxes, one from the Geek Gear World of Wizardry and another one from Loot Crate. And there will be unboxings too. So stay tuned and please subscribe. That will make my day if I see one more subscriber 
or several. Um, thank you very much and see you later, my little nifflers. Nox.